This is my top five you don't charge the mound on. Starting at number five, I have Liam Hendricks. This dude has been described as an Australian psychopath, and I say that in the nicest way possible. He's one of those high octane, high energy type of guys that is great at his job on the mound, closing it out, or should I say, finish him. Hendrix seems like the nicest guy in the world when he isn't pitching, but when he is, he can be the scariest guy alive. Now, I don't necessarily know much about his fighting background, but I do know you don't mess with guys that yell at themselves and have conversations with themselves on the mound. Crazy. Have you seen his save celebration? This dude's lethal fist pump would put Liu Kang's fatal uppercut to shame. Number four on the list goes to a veteran in the game in Madison Bumgarner. Mad Bum has been known to come inside just to start a little something something. And he's not afraid to start walking towards you and letting you know why he did it. The one player he doesn't like the most, Yasiel Puig, is headed to play in Korea. So unless Bumgardner finds himself playing in the KBO soon, we won't get to see that smoke. But Mad Bum has had this grumpy demeanor for a while now, and it seems like he just wants somebody to charge the mound on him, whether it be Puig, Max Muncie, Will Myers, or even the umpire Joe West. He needs to get some built up aggression out and he's bound to let it go on somebody soon. Next up at number three on the list is a role as Chapman. Not only does Chapman bring that 100 mile an hour velo on demand, have you seen this dude outside of his baseball clothes? Just check out his Instagram if you get a chance. I mean, you talk about an imposing figure. He could be all muscle and not about that action, but I wouldn't even wanna charge the mound and find out. Plus, you know what I was thinking? Whoever charges the mound on this man has to deal with the fact of facing him later on in the season or in life for that matter. That means you know you're getting 104 somewhere on your body. And he's shown that he's not afraid to throw it at your dome. Ask Mike Brousseau about that. Either way, don't even look in the same direction as the Cuban Missile. He's liable to strike at any moment. The number two spot goes to Amir Garrett. Plain and simple, you don't charge the mound on a dude who isn't afraid to take on the whole team. Let's just say Amir Garrett wants that smoke and you can ask the 2019 Pirates all about that one. Homeboy took off from the mound in a dead sprint to take on as many bucks as he could. That just tells me my man wasn't afraid to wear it as long as he got a lick in or two. That's the kind of pitcher I want on my team. I'll tell you that right now. And the number one guy you don't want to charge the mound on, Mad Max Scherzer. He may be the craziest human being to ever step on the mound. We know how good he is, but look, we are talking about someone who isn't afraid to verbally combat opposing coaches and even his own coaches for that matter. How could you even look this guy in the eye as a manager and take the ball? First of all, he's got two different eye colors. And second of all, you basically have to take the ball from him. Shoot, we know he might just give you a handshake instead. And don't even touch this dude when he's in the zone. Ask Dave Roberts about that. I still remember the time he almost fought Steven Strausberg. They call him Mad Max for a reason and I'm positive no hitter is trying to find out exactly why. Examine it and let me know what you got in the comments.